All right. Last minute adjustment. <laughs> yep. We got it all on the front. This is for a weekend trip. Yeah. Uh, we're headed to Branson, Missouri. So. Yeah. So it'll be a good little jaunt down there. We should have gonna... to stop once or twice. Potentially twice. We may just end up st planning on stopping twice because uh, we all know people have to potty and. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll just see. We're going to try Electrify America on the way down. Uh, there is an EV go, um, but it is about 45 minutes to an hour from there. I am going to go out on a limb and say EA is going to work perfect. We're going to plug and charge on this, and uh, it's going to work great. All right. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's get the road. Didn't have to put anything back here except for some charging stuff. Did you get your J1772, Tesla to J1772 in did, case I that's did, a, a good option? <laughs> I did. I'm pulling full on charging equipment. Okay. Last time you didn't bring it, so I just I had know. to check. 100%. It says 336 miles of range. Are we going out on another limb here to say that that's not accurate? No, not at all. <laughs> Our first charging is 210 miles. How I did it was I set it in there. Maybe I should just show you. How I did it was I started this all on my phone. So I just went into Ford Pass and I entered where we were going, which is Stormy Point. And... So did you send it from your phone or...? Yeah, so the phone will actually save it. Half then you can go the into charging uh, here and you can add it, actually edit which one you want. So you can go replace. And then we know we want a fast charger. Instead of going to the EVGO that Ford is telling us to, we want to go to this one. Um, to the Electrify America, and then basically all you're doing is replacing that EVGO with the Electrify America. Pretty slick, actually. Now we press go, and we're good. And then, what is this blue the the street, circle? Then turn left. Based upon wind and terrain and all that stuff, that's how far you should be able to go, which with the 336 miles um, on the guesso meter, I wouldn't you know, Trust suggest it that. <laughs> too much. I do want to say something about that though. I accidentally reset everything and we've only been driving in town and we've been getting on average 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour. So I'm assuming that's what it's basing it off of. I bet once we do this trip, you will see that adjust quite a bit, probably even by the next charger. So let's just keep note of that. But anyways, 210 miles. Here we go. Uh, Ford does, it simulates regenerative braking when you're ha at a high state of charge. If you have an electric vehicle, you know that once you get up to a high state of charge, your regen either totally goes away or is really uh, uh, depleted. And so Ford actually simulates like you're still doing one pedal driving with regenerative braking, so your driving experience isn't interrupted. Pretty cool. Yeah, um, that's smart. I yeah, like that. is it is it necessary? Probably not, but it it is. Um, I don't know. I think it's cool. Probably, you know, make it a little less likely that you're going to run into the back of somebody because you don't you forget that you don't have brakes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes that is the case. But you rarely ever go into that high state of charge. So. Yeah. lovely elevator music happening. <laughs> so this is, before we got to Electrify America, I mean we're still 70 miles away, but uh, the, I just wanted to call them uh, just to verify that the chargers were working. Because uh, two are already unavailable. Yeah. So. so. A 350 and then a 150 are unavailable. 
So, if we need to change it up and go to the EV Go, we will. I would rather go to the Electrify America. Being proactive is why he's on the phone. <laughs> yes, I really want plug-in charge to work. I just want it to work. I don't want to complain about chargers not working. No, I, I want it to get better now. Because it's getting old. But we're also going to be straight with you guys about how it's going. So yeah. if we have to complain about it, we have to complain about it. So, all right, we'll let you know. It's Missouri, uh, it's T1201. Right, so we're wanting independent Missouri? Yeah, I'm just trying to check, make sure they're actually uh, working. Well, let me go ahead and take a look. I'm going to pull the whole location so I can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. It shows that it's online right now. Okay, I just didn't know if there's ways that you guys have a higher probability that it's working. I can, I can take a look at the last like, uh, charging sessions and see like what was successful on there. Okay. On station 3, if you'd like, because that is the 350 that is available right now. Okay, I would appreciate that. Doesn't look like this location gets very much action though. Last session was say on the 27th. So it looks like four has gotten some action going today. A couple sessions so far. And a couple sessions of yesterday. A lot of sessions from yesterday on four. Um, so you can always try three. If three is causing you any problems, because it looks like the last session on three was a couple, like, two, three days ago. Um, you can always try number four as well. Does that give you any more confidence? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> she said the last time the 350 was used was... Yes. No, the no. 26. Oh my gosh, the 26. So it's not working. So... Three days ago. I mean, are we going to go to that one? I mean, if we are, we're going to call... We're going to call that in repair. Like, because we're going to obviously plug into it, see if it works. Well, that's like, uh... Did you see how long I sat on hold? It was 10 minutes yes. before... Anybody picked up? So should I call them seven minutes before we get there? <laughs> well, I mean, we can charge on the 150, which, especially with the lightning, isn't like, I mean, it's roughly like that's top of the line for the lightning, right? Yeah, it'll get a, well, what I've seen is it'll get to 170. But yeah, I I did want to see how high it would go. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll still plug into the 350 and then go. See if it works. If it yeah. doesn't. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that didn't give me much confidence <laughs> at all. So, it's okay. Like, we're going to think positive thoughts and it's going to work. It's going to work. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're putting the mojo out there. That's pretty high up there. Me. Ollie, do you see it? Look, dude. Worlds of fun! I remember seeing that the last time we were in Kansas City. Any luck? No. Of Already course. Already here. So we are here in Independence. This one's at a Target, which is fun. Yay. That could get me into trouble. But Especially ow. if we have to be Both here for hours because the chargers aren't working right. So. There is an ID4 back here that is trying to charge, but two of the chargers are dead. And then there's a Rivian over here, and he can't charge, and we can't charge. So, but Electrify America. at least we're at Target, and <laughs> nobody can charge. Yeah, hopefully we can get this figured out. And I mean, we still have 20% on the battery, so we can easily get to another charger. Um, and we are in the Kansas City area, so we could get to that EV Go. Um, but, you know, even more frustrating because we called and they said, oh yeah, people have been charging on number four. We well, like it ain't working. All right, it looks like we're getting a charge. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Plug and charge didn't work. We needed to actually activate it through the app and only the 150 here at Electrify America and Independence worked. And so it is uh, kind of the usual, unfortunately. I wish I could report differently. Um, maybe it's us. I don't know. 
it's too bad anyways all we got up to was 80 kilowatts that's the fastest we could go just wanted to fill you in on this unfortunately we we've seen a couple people come and go um one guy is waiting and i just let him know how long it would be promise we're not lollygagging we're just wanting to uh make it to the next charger since there's zero charging in between here in springfield um but anyways we'll uh get going here once they get back from the bathroom okay so we're almost done with the charging felt a little bad because the people next to us in the rivian couldn't get a charge and had to leave and there's been somebody waiting for this one charger that's working at the station for the entire charge so we really would like to get five more percent so but however we're just gonna kind of work our way towards being done and then uh yeah. and we'll go on our way and we can adjust as it as it goes so yeah Where's my phone? we'll just slow down a little bit if we need to so. I yeah so okay all right let's get unplugged i, I guess yeah. yeah all right we got everything on the app for that so Hopefully it's enough. <laughs> we'll find out. feeling this is a 200 amp so my assumption is it'll get like 70 kilowatt 125 kilowatt dc shared does that mean well that's if somebody plugs in next to us oh, they'll get half oh. but i have a feeling this is a 200 amp so it'll jump up to maybe 70 kilowatts maybe not even that it just depends on the pack voltage Hmm. Like, it's such a relief when it works the first time yeah. now. Like, you're like, oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Seven. Close to it. Cool. Let's go potty. Basically, okay. we just stop to potty and get like... Get a boost. A little bit of juice. So, why the annoyed face currently? Because... This is getting basically the same charge, a little bit less, 10% less, than EA, and it's, you know, not supposed to be like a super fast charger. And so EA right. is supposed to be yes. a fast charger. I don't know. This is why it's good for us to get out of the vehicle, because <laughs> they need to get those wiggles out. They've been... Flipping upside down, they've been running, they've been screaming. Don't touch my truck! <laughs> so, we were gonna unplug, 
But then this, I noticed that the train was, that it was blocking our way back to the highway. So I said, hey, let's wait a minute. And it's been going. And now we probably, oh. <laughs> Dad went inside. And now we've probably gotten an extra five minutes of charge because yes. of the train and it's still going back there. It's, it's been, it's so we will wait until forever. the train is gone. Well, train's gone, shall we call it? I suppose. I just like charging. <laughs> Eight dollars and sixteen cents, twenty-three point three kilowatts. I can't speak highly enough of ChargePoint working as it should, and it just ChargePoint for us is always worked. We've never had a problem. With we Charge had Point. that one at the come and go. Come and go. On the way back home from Minnesota, where it stopped charging while we were inside. I don't remember that. My phone. That was Electrify America. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it happened twice. Was that both on the Electrify America? Well, no. America? The on the way back, probably. But on the way back, I stopped it mm. because they were charging you like twenty cents per minute or something. Oh like yeah, that. and then it. I wanted to see if it actually them. would let you restart, and it did. So. Yeah. And we had They're one like. like Air after we plugged in. Well, uh, yeah, it just wouldn't go. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Right, better get plugged in. Your seatbelt. <laughs> plugged in. <laughs> I just said I need to get plugged in. I need to get my seatbelt on. Or... settled and everything and just uh yeah i think steve wants to go try a charger yeah there is an 80 amp charger in town uh so if they're if we're able to actually get hooked up to that this truck since it's extended range actually has 80 amp on board charger so it should be able to full pull that full 80 amps we'll show you that if it able to but the place that we got to a quarter uh, mile, has, turn right onto Green Mountain Drive, yellow route. has a 120 uh, volt, just regular plug in the front of their, uh, in front of the house. So we've been plugging in it, into that. But sometimes there's benefits like you go and you like you can find closer parking because of the EV, and then sometimes you can get things like free charging. And this is a pretty high amps, so we'll see how it goes. says 80 amps the screen has a bunch of like <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't indicate how well it works <laughs> yeah. together. that's a real long cord <laughs> you could have parked like four down and used that i think <laughs> i guess it's nice because like if somebody ices the spot but you got yeah. more choices i mean we could plug that tesla right <laughs> yeah we could <laughs> It's a heavy duty. I don't know if that's going to tell us anything. Oh, it clicked. Oh, it says it's going. So is this free then? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, 80 amp. 
and it's free. So we'll see if it actually pulls 80 amps. That's the unfortunate thing about Ford. They don't actually let you uh, test, you know, look at it in the vehicle and say, hey, you're pulling this many kilowatts. So I'll have to do some math once it's done. Anyways, we just wanted to close this video out. We made it here safely. And I turn right onto Green Mountain Drive. We're going to turn right good. on Green Mountain Drive. I think that's it. But uh, is this it? Mm, it's hard to tell. What? Oh, you're using Apple Maps. So I, it's hard to tell. Yep, you missed it. <laughs> All right. so, we better, we better let him drive. Anyways, be sure to like, give this video a thumbs up for good luck for us to get to our destination. <laughs> Leave us a comment. Let us know uh, your latest travels experience, and we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Jeez, Louise, she's interrupting us a lot. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.